I didn't mention fish tonight, and I do include them quite a bit in the book because uh, this, this oh, I did mention fish briefly, fish cognition. Uh, there's a bit of a revolution going on in, in, in what we now understand about fish. The same month that my book came out, a book came out called Do Fish Feel Pain? Question mark. Uh, it's by a fish biologist who I know, and uh, th the reason she wrote the book is because the science has now reached the stage where the evidence is so very clear uh, of what we may have, some of us may have suspected all along, which is that they do f experience pain. They don't merely register a, a noxious stimulus, which could be called nociception without any experience of actual, a qualitative experience of pain. But there's studies that are pretty compelling that, that suggest, or pretty much indicate, that these, these animals are feeling and experiencing painful events. Um, individuality, individuality in fish, I guess I would just give it, illustrate that with a fascinating um, interaction that goes on in, in reefs and some other habitats. It's called cleaning stations. There are certain fishes, such as the cleaner wrasse, who do a service for other fish. It's a cleaning service. And um, they, they, the, the client fish comes on into the space and just sort of hovers there opens their mouth, this other fish swims inside, cleans out the gills, uh, removes little bits of food from their teeth maybe, and then plucks over their skin, removing maybe parasites, sloughing skin, and whatever else. So the cleaner gets a little bit of grub, and the other fish gets sort of a spa treatment. And sometimes these, these client fish will change color. They seem to be very, very um, into it. They seem to enjoy it. And, and this is a fascinating interaction that also occurs in hippopotamuses go into some springs and get plucked over by fish and they splay their toes, spread their legs, open their mouths. Same kind of interaction. Very similar parallel. Warthogs in a, in, a, in a state park, I don't know if it's found anywhere else, in a national park in Uganda will flop down if they see a, a group of mongooses and they'll flop down and these little predators, these little mongooses will come over and swarm over the warthog and, and again just plucking off little bits of whatever um, and the, the warthogs seem to just love it. They're like, they're just like lying there with their eyes half closed. It's such a bizarre interaction. I have a photo of it if you want to see it. And it's not photoshopped. I'll send it to you if you want to see it. Anyway, so that's a similar parallel behavior. But the fish cleaning stations, it's really complex and it gets back to your question about individuality. It's actually, again, to use that word, it's really a bit ma Machiavellian because there's deception and cheating and, and off-color behavior. Um, other fish line up to be serviced by good cleaners. They, they develop a reputation. And, uh, and then f other fish are also watching these interactions. They're monitoring to see how do these cleaners do. Are they good? Are they not so good? Sometimes cleaners will take a nip. There are other species who mimic these cleaner wrasses. And they're, they're like the, the something thin blenny is another species. And they'll sometimes take a nip. But even the cleaners will sometimes take a nip and take a little bit of thin, which is crossing the line. And then they'll usually swim away as fast as they can. And the other client may, may chase them. Uh, you, you normally don't want to diss a business partner, so this kind of thing doesn't happen typically. Deception is, um, only works when most of us are honest most of the time. So these other fish are watching them, and now I'm going to use another jargon phrase that the scientists who study this used. They form an image score for these cleaners, and so they sort of have a rating. Each cleaner has a rating. You're seven and a half, you're an eight, you're a three, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this sort of thing. And the ones who have the low scores are, are going to get fewer clients. So it's sort of a payback system, if you like. Um, <laughs> enough said. There's, a, there's some other studies about that, but, but it, they're monitoring individuals, so it is individuals that, who are recognizing individuals. Yes? 